What is going on, everybody? I'm your boy, Fatal Mephisto, and welcome back to a brand spanking new Vatal Plays. And today I'll be showing you guys some gameplay for RimWorld. Um, I was originally going to do a full fledged like, video basically breaking down like the character creation, the AI storyteller, and whatever the case may be, but that's just going to make the video way too long. And plus, there's way better tutorial videos out there. And this is not really a tutorial video, this is just me showing off some gameplay and basically breaking down what I'm going to be doing as I do like my rotation, whatever the case may be. Um, I am still learning this game. There's a lot of shit that I'm learning because this game has a pretty steep learning curve. Um, but right now, I basically, I understand the, the, the basics, what I should be doing. The early game stuff is basically what I've learned so far because uh, I'm still, you know, in the process of, of, of uh, you know, mastering this game because this game is a hugely popular game on PC. It's been around since 2018 Early Access. It just dropped on consoles like two days ago. Fucking excited as hell. I can't stop thinking about this game every time when I'm playing it. I'm constantly thinking about making choices, constantly thinking about what I want to do next for my colonies, all that shit for my pawns, everything. Fucking, so yeah. So pretty much basically the game plays from a top-down view perspective. Um, and it's basically, it, think of it like The Sims meets freaking civilization in a way. Um, that's the best way I can describe this to somebody who's new or, or who has never heard of this game or thinks that this game title is a porn title for a porn um, because of the word rim, but I completely digress. So anyways, um, once you finish the actual, uh, like the very first thing you'll be doing when you go into a new game by choosing like uh, your AI, your difficulty, your scenario alongside like um, uh, your generation, like the generation of the map, and then you spend a like, good fucking four hours fucking working on your pawns on who you want to bring with you. Um, this is the first thing you're going to see once you land, you can pause the game and get around, get used to your surroundings. See what's around you. Explore a little bit. You know what I mean? See what resources are available on the map. See what, you know, what this map has to offer. For all you know, you could very well spawn in a very shitty fucking map. Which, to be fair, I kind of did that myself, um, but it's all right. We'll uh, we'll make do. We'll make do of that. Um, so yeah. So the first thing you're gonna want to do is is there's a couple things. There's a lot to take in with this game, so I recommend doing the actual tutorial first if you decide to give this game a chance. But there is a lot of shit you got to do in this game. But the first thing you're gonna want to do as soon as you like you land on the planet is figure out where you want to set up camp. Now, more likely, I'm probably going to be setting up my shit probably around here because I can use this little spot here for a garden. I can put a garden up here, um, so on and so forth. But I also want to make sure I do enough. Uh, um, I have enough room to be able to, uh, you know, build everything that I need to build. Or I might just, you know what? I might just do it right here in the middle. Now, this right here is deep water. So they literally spawn me right on top of a freaking river, which is, like, I guess good in a way, I guess. Because you can technically use that <laughs> uh, for to my advantage. So this is actually kind of a nice spot, actually. Because the only way that I can definitely get attacked is through the right-hand side, which more, hap more likely will happen. Hmm. I'm just debating. Yeah, no, you know, you know what? We'll be fine. Another thing is, you can go ahead and take a look and see what wildlife has spawned uh, in this map. So you can see all the squirrels, raccoons, turkeys, rams, does, grizzly bears. Ooh, there's a grizzly bear? Oh, and it's right in front of me, too. That's not good. What a perfect start. Bunch of uh, rabbits, red foxes, timber wolves, rats, whatever the case may be. And you also have the option to either hunt these or try to tame these. So, depending on your choice. Um, so the first thing you're going to want to do is, is you want to make a stockpile and you do that by, uh, holding down your left trigger, clicking on X and then going over to zone and then clicking on stockpile. Now, what this does is, is this will issue my pawns to store everything the fucking in, in a specific spot, wherever I put it. So if I'm going to build my base. And uh, somewhere close to here. I'm probably going to want to build it probably up and around here. Because there's a little bit of river over here. Shallow water, which will come in handy. Um, there's, uh, I believe this is, what is this? This is marble. 
So, yeah, we can definitely mine that later. Got some mining stuff over here. Yeah, this seems like a pretty decent spot right over here in between this area. That's rough marble, so that's fine. So, yeah, so what we're going to do is, is we're going to build a stockpile. So, I'm going to come over here, and I am going to put a 8x8. 8x8 room right here. And then when I back out of this, I um, I can click on it and then press Y. This will bring up everything that can go in here. Obviously, I don't want corpses to go in here. So uh, we're going to definitely disable that. <laughs> um, but uh, chunks will be for dumping and whatever the case may be. But you want to go ahead and just basically for right now put everything in here. Because once your characters, uh, once you start building like a room for them and so on and so forth and blah, 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 blah then you're going to be able to uh, get away with that and uh, make it a little bit more organized and so on and so forth. So this is the first stockpile that I'm building right here. Now, all these little things that have an X on it, what I'm going to do right now is is I'm going to a, uh, address the colonies to allow, and then I'm going to come over here and drag this across to gather up all of that and then also that as well to allow that that too and of course those two items or all these items so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and pause it real quick and I'm going to have my pods take all this stuff and put it in this square box right over here so that way we can start getting stuff going I'm going to go ahead and speed it up a little bit so that way these guys will be able to um, do what they got to do also, it's also wise as well. Is that a fucking snake? Oh, God, yeah, it is a fucking snake. So, it would be wise to remember to see which character that you want to be, you know, handling weapons and whatever the case may be. So, for her, um, I definitely want to equip the... Um, well, I'll wait for her to do what she's got to do. And then I can interact with this. I'll get her to equip that. Uh, I'm not letting her do anything, and then I'll let her equip uh, that right there. So that way they have it, and so on and so forth. So anyways, now they're going to continue doing what they're doing. At the same time, I'm also going to create a dumping stockpile. So I'm going to put that uh, pretty much basically right next to where my... Um, where is my stockpile anyways? Hold on, let me just get an idea of where it is. Okay, so it starts up from here. So I'm probably going to put my dumping, my dump pile over on this side if I can. So that way uh, it'll be a lot easier for me. So we're going to start from here and we're going to go over uh, the 8x8 eight eight again. And then this one here is just going to be for uh, everything except for the chunks and the corpses. And there we go. So now my pawns will be able to do all that crap like that and get all things over here and so on and so forth. Eventually, I'm going to be closing this off so that way you'll be able to see what I'm talking about um, when we do it. So, Okay. So now I want them to um, to haul all of the uh, where is it now? Okay, so now that we organized that, so one thing I want to do now is just so I can separate the two. Um, that way I can see where all my stuff is at. I'm going to go ahead and build. I need to get an idea of where my stockpile thing is. Ooh, that's going to be a problem. <laughs> um, is there a way I can move this? Expand, shrink zone, delete. Fuck me. I 
Actually, you know what? I am going to have to move this stockpile. That sucks. But that's okay, though. That's all right. We can, uh... Let's get rid of that stockpile, and I'll move the stockpile over here. I want to leave one space over, so that way I got that for the room. There we go. And then again... And then after that, we go ahead and build a wall. Let me just get the outline again. There we go. So what I'm doing now is I'm building a room, uh, a room for them to live in and whatnot. So that way I can have, uh, Just like to keep it a little bit more organized, you know what I mean? Just so that way they stay right there in the middle. Uh, so yeah, so what we're going to do is, is I'm going to get my pawns to start building this. Um, and then I'll also send them out to do, um, like they'll obviously go out and get the wood for it and shit like that. Now, if I wanted to, I can actually assign them to go and chop down wood. But I want to wake. I have to wait for them to wake up. So, <laughs> yeah, get them to finish both these rooms. And the reason why I didn't connect the other room, there's a reason why I did that. Uh, because I want my kitchen to be above my bedroom. I wouldn't really say above my bedroom, but you get the idea.
So now I gotta clear out each of these rooms. Okay. Go ahead and pause this here. Uh, I'm going to a assign my bed to her, assign a bed to him, and assign a bed to this other one, so that way they have a place to constantly stay. So there we go. All my rooms are now done. Get to go. Beautiful, beautiful, fucking beautiful. Now, of course, this spider thing is going to be fucking pissing me off, So, but I don't really want to attack it right yet because I'm just not ready for that yet. <laughs> Um, now, I want to go ahead and I want to, uh, build a kitchen with a freezer and a, um, uh, well, I want to build an actual area that's going to have my kitchen in it alongside a freezer because I want my fucking food to be set in the cold. So the way to do that is, is, well, there's a couple things I got to do first. Number one is uh and i should have mentioned this earlier but i didn't um is you want to look at their basic needs and stats right like you can see here it says eight uh without a table uh, uncomfortable something in the cold something in the ground these three will go away when now, now that they have beds so these two i want to focus on eight and a table right so how do i get rid of that well very very simple all i do is is i come over here go to furniture and i create a uh I'm gonna create a little table. I'm just gonna scounge it off here in the corner because this is only three of them. Um, uh, I can just put like one, two, and then I can put uh, one chair, I guess, here, I guess, or uh, up here for now. So that way they got a place to eat their food. Um, the other thing is that I wanna do is I also, they also need some form of entertainment as well. Um, so let's go ahead and put a recreation thing in here. Um, a horse pin is probably what I would recommend going with, but I mean, you don't really have to. <laughs> so I'm going to put that right there. So that way they got that. Um, eventually I'm going to expand this eventually. Once I clear this area out, um, I will definitely, um, expand on it. And then over here, I'm going to put my freezer and my, uh, and my kitchen's going to be right above it. So the way we're gonna do that is, is I'm gonna go into build mode, or well, build anyways, and I'm gonna build out a, yeah, I'm gonna build out a 12, twelve by 10, and then I'm gonna build an little tiny little inbox here that's going to be pretty much basically five deep I guess apparently <laughs> actually you know what I, I kind of got to go up a little higher than that so let's go up here there we go because I got I need room for my um, I'll show you guys what I'm talking about I need room for my butcher which is going to be right up here I'm going to put no, that's fine. Uh, because this area right here is going to be all my fucking where my food's going to go. So first thing is first, we're going to put a generator up here. And then we're also going to put a cooler right there as well. And then uh, this whole entire area is going to be for all of my, uh, my main... Um, oops, didn't mean to do that. Let's go back here. I'm going to put a door right here and a door right there.
Now you see all these, all this steel and shit like that. If I open up here, right, and I look at chunks, you can see like uh, the stone chunks. You can see like whatever you want to call it, but also the raw resources. Yeah, take that off. <laughs> so that way, what will happen is this guy will come in here and start organizing all that and do on and so on and so forth after they're done, you know, completing up my kitchen and shit. Let them, all right, let my guys go to sleep now. There we go. Let them do what they gotta do. <coughs> Eventually, I'm gonna have to get that bear out of my freaking area, dude. <laughs> Alright, so my butcher room is ready. Excellent. AC's ready to go. We're going to increase that. I'm going to go ahead and make this a dumping ground here. And then in here, we're going to take everything off except for uh, um, everything off except for food and animal corpses. Now this is covering up the whole entire area, so that's good. Now, this guy is a traitor, by the way, so I can actually come over here if I wanted to and talk to him. Uh, which I'm actually going to, actually, because I want to see what he has. Okay, so he's got some components, which would actually be really handful, or really, really nice to get early on, so I might actually buy some of this. Oh, I can only buy two? Jesus, fuck out of here, here. Did that guy just fucking come in my house and steal one of my shit? Oh, hell no. Nah. So, uh, what I'm going to do, oh yeah, yeah, another thing I'm going to do too as well, um, is I also need to buy a, or build a, uh, what do you call it there? A fueled or construction.
Okay, so maybe that's not wise. So maybe I should build a kitchen area over here, I guess. Oh, no, 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 I don't know what I want to do. Get rid of that electricity thing. Uh, One thing I forgot to do.
Wait, 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 wait. The fuck was that? So yeah, that's going to do it for a little bit of gameplay for you guys. I'm sorry I didn't talk for there for like the last 20 minutes. I apologize. But I just wanted to give you guys an idea of what kind of game this is. It's got so much fucking complexity behind it. I absolutely adore this fucking game. But all right, guys, I'm out of here, and I'll see you guys in the next one, man. I'm out. Deuces. Deuces.